Let's though go to the startup scene and Aussie Tech's Cocoon Data has become the first Aussie company in the cybersecurity field to achieve Fed ramp ready status. The company is set to become a 100 million US dollar business after inking a partnership deal with Google. So let's break all that down, what it means with Cocoon Data's CEO and founder, Trent Telford, who's joining me here in studio. Hi, congratulations, Dane, thanks I believe for is warranted, but I do think that some of that deserves an explanation, right? So what is FedRAMP sure. status? So uh, FedRAMP status is a US government certification. So cybersecurity, data security, big problem, we all know it. Uh, the US government looks at it and says, if you can meet all these hurdles, which can take up to three years, uh, that means anyone in the US government can come buy the software or the technology to protect data because you've passed all those standards. That's pretty big. I it's mean, a, these are awesome customers to have. Yeah, it's the US government. Um, it runs across potentially the intelligence communities, Department of Defense. It's probably three to four times higher in order of magnitude, more difficult than the Australian government standards. Really? So what is this technology then? And how did it come about? Sure. Uh, originally, our, our first product that we put through the FedRAMP was a bit of a, it was a file sharing product, you know, like um, a Dropbox. But mm -hmm. recently, about a year and a half ago with Google Public Sector, which is Google's division all focused on public sector and defense and the intelligence communities, we built what's called an API service. So APIs are what connect applications in the internet and make everything work. So we built the first one to do data encryption, so quantum level encryption of data as a service. So you can embed it within existing applications or you know, endpoints or IoT landscape or any of that world out there. You can now go and embed it um, as a service rather than a standalone um, application, if that makes sense. It does. So what is this relationship with Google? So Google public sector, so Google, if you break it down into their cloud business and they've got their workspace product, mm -hmm. you know, like the Microsoft Office suite, everybody loves their workspace product, great for collaboration, but security wise has been a challenge for them. Um, great for collaboration in docs. Well, we're the first ones to build uh, at, through our API service a way you can have multi-level classifications in the same Google doc. So what does that mean? We could have a thousand people all collaborating in a Google doc and now you can have encryption of different words, paragraphs, texts, that unless you've got the right level of authorization or clearance in government, you won't be able to see those redacted, if you like, versions of, of Google Doc. And we built that in partnership with uh, our support of Google Public Sector in the US. Um, how, how, you know, how embedded in the US are you already? And why and how did this Google um, partnership come about? Right, yeah. we, we um, Look, I think a lot of Australian tech companies would like to you know, make it in the US. It's probably the holy gamut, right? Um, we've probably invested nearly three years. Majority of our team is US based. I started the business here in Australia, but the majority of it's in the US now. Um, and that will continue to be the, the growth phase of all the businesses is, is in the US. Um, so our view was if you can make it with US government and defense as a cyber company, particularly out of mm -hmm. Australia, um, you can kind of make it anywhere, right? Um, mm -hmm. And you can translate that across other sectors as well, beyond government and defence. It's kind of the Rolls-Royce standard, right? You can rebadge a Rolls-Royce as a Mercedes or a, or a Chevrolet in the US. Yeah, you can't, can't go do the, the other opposite. Way. Yep. That's All right. right. Um, so how big, and we talk about TAM, total addressable market, right. I mean, like, how much do you have to capture of that government um, business right. in the United States to really, you know, you to really hit to the big time? Lot. You really don't have to capture a lot. Um, you know, if you look at the US government marketplace uh, and then defense and the Pentagon separate and then the intelligence agencies, so the, the three letter agencies we think of, um, if we look at a less than two and a half percent capture in the data security space, less than two and a half percent of that TAM, um, that's a one to two hundred million dollar revenue business for us. Just in that government and defense space. I was just letting that sink in for a moment. It's a big okay. number. It is it's a big, a big number. number. Have it's you had um, Aussie government support to get traction? It's interesting. So the Australian government, <clears throat> um, the short answer is it's been very difficult to get any traction in the Australian government. Uh, we spent a lot of time investing in Canberra. I think there is the genuine intent to want to do things in Canberra, but there is a cultural um, almost rash towards what's born here. It's almost you've got to be successful in America and bring it back here with big partners like Google. Uh, we don't have that same appetite to want to 
um, take risk per se on smaller uh, companies. It's easy to buy the big companies, right? So um, for us, for every dollar of investor capital we take in, um, you look at the market in the US, ironically, we've been able to succeed with US government and Google where we haven't been able to get traction in Australia. Everybody should take note of that, right? If we want to uh, yeah, grow into our ambitions. So what's to stop Google from just buying Cocoon? Nothing. Um, you know, I think for our, from our perspective, we start with Google. It's important to be cloud um, agnostic so we can run on AWS or Azure. If you look at Google's ambitions, obviously it was the talk of the markets a couple of weeks ago, their potential acquisition of Wiz uh, for 24, call it billion US would have been their biggest ever acquisition. Um, uh, and they are an API security company um, in, in a similar parallel to us. Mm -hmm. So it shows you Google's got appetite for API based security companies. The FedRAMP certifications are a big process. So with the new technology we're rolling out now, we're going through a new FedRAMP certification on that. We'll be the only API data security service across all of US government and defense, the only one certified. Um, FedRAMP's a big deal. You know, I noticed that Lassian pointed out uh, two weeks ago that it's a key, or one of their key uh, areas of growth is uh, their recently announced in, uh, getting on board the FedRAMP program. So it's hard to get, but once you get it, it's a big moat and it makes you highly attractive to, to others. So um, it's been a good story. Yeah, good one. Now, um, when you think about cybersecurity, we're continually told that even in turn downs, you know, enterprise doesn't stop spending on cybersecurity. Right. Presumably the US government will not either. Right, right. Uh, but for you, what is the biggest challenge right now? Because this sounds like a real Goldilocks story right now. Um, look, I, I think our, our challenge has been largely to, uh, f firstly, to make sure that the product was validated in the US and having a partnership with Google public sector, which is now probably 18 months old, has, has, has validated that. Secondly, um, I think capital in Australia um, would like to think that this is where the big results are because it's where the big takeouts are on the multiples, right? Mm -hmm. um, so the biggest challenge in Australia historically has been getting capital to support that, but we've been very fortunate to be backed by um, typically private high net wealth through private advisory firms here. Um, so our biggest challenge now is um, we're looking at a, a large Series A venture round in the US. We've got interest from a lot of US venture firms, so we need to, we need to get that capital in, in the US <clears throat> because it's a real flywheel thing in the US. Mm -hmm. You must grow it, you know, triple digit type numbers to, to accelerate. But if you do that, you build very valuable businesses. So the biggest challenge in front of us, big capital A in the next three months, and um, Series A, sorry, and uh, let's see where it ends up uh, in the next 12 months.